Hi everyone. So Frog Tech Gear Sanctuary uh, inspired me today. He got a bucket for rainwater because it's been raining a lot. And I was like, gosh, I'm so stupid. I've been wanting to do that for so long because it's been raining so much here. We could have had so much water. So we went to Home Depot and I found this nice DIY project because I don't want mosquitoes and stuff. So we have the bucket, we have uh, nozzles, and we have this, which we're gonna put over top to keep the mosquitoes out. So let's see how it all comes together. Okay, so we're gonna put on this little spigot with this. Uh, so husband is now cutting the little hole in there. Obviously we drew it on first, and of course he's just cutting it nice and slow, and we wanna make it as even and nice as possible. And if we wanted to do it, pretty low as possible too because obviously you know we want to get as much water out of there as we can at all times. Voila. Oh well anyway it doesn't take very long to make a little hole. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie this whole system probably cost or not probably it cost about $70 for everything for um, you know the tape and the little spigot and the little uh, what are these called the little nipples? I don't know and then this part that goes inside and then uh, this mesh um, yeah so you know it's not exactly a cheap project but um, in the long run it'll definitely help out for a lot of stuff you know you could use it for water for anything and the water from falls from the sky okay so he just pushed that in and it's got the nice weather seal and everything on there and then that goes on yeah on the inside. Okay, so he's taking the Teflon tape and what you're going to do what? I'm just making sure it's sealed up. Put a little bit of Teflon tape on it so it doesn't leak. Cool. Fancy. Alright, and there's our little spigot. Pretty cool. Top. All right, now we have our hole. Okay, so to keep mosquitoes out, all we're using, I saw this on a DIY website, um, just using some landscape material. It's where the air and water can still go through, um, but you know, it's nothing's going to come up and go in, anything like that. So it's just gonna drape over like that. And, um, So this is like the third day in a row that we're using this <laughs> Gorilla Tape. <laughs> we love Gorilla Tape. Yeah, just taping it around. Just make sure it's a little extra secure. Yeah, looks good. Alright, so we found this. Uh, we have a whole bunch of bricks and uh, little stepping stones and stuff that was just kind of over here. So we decided to make a platform with that. We bought that little piece of wood from Home Depot. And there you go. This is pretty nice, actually. Um, it's a little wobbly, but until it gets full, yeah, until it gets full, right? The problem is if it's not full. Well, we should put some water in it a little bit. Gonna blow it. Also, a good test to see if it's even gonna work. Hear it? In there. That's a lot of. Well, most of it's gone in. Now it's just kind of stopped. I mean, it's still kind of dripping, but there's that little bit that's just kind of stagnant there, which is not what we want. <sighs> All right, let's see if this works. Oh. Open and nothing's coming out. Is there not enough There's water? Not enough water. Huzzah! Yeah, you could just let me put more. Well, there you have it. Here's our rain collection bucket. It uh, again was about seventy-ish dollars, and um, it took us only about forty-ish minutes to put together. So super quick little project of course now we can expand on it and make it better but this is a really good start and anyone can do this with any supplies so uh go get to collecting some rainwater i'll see you tomorrow
Mm. <laughs> Zip it open.